Many colleges admit students directly into the major that they apply to as a 12th grader. And when colleges do this, they are looking in the application for evidence that the student can articulate what they've done in the past that has prepared them to know what that major is and what do they plan to do in the future. Andy Bors, Director of Admissions for the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, was on episode 57 of my College and Career Clarity podcast. I'm going to link to this episode right here so you can listen to the whole thing if you want to. It's very rich with what they're looking for and how admission by major works. Now, Andy's team has put together a fantastic tool on their website that will help all students, not only those applying to their major. And today I want to show you how you can use this tool. The first thing you want to do is head to the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign's website at illinois.edu. That's pretty simple. Okay, so better grab my glasses for this one. So then what we're going to do when we get there is you're going to go to the admissions tab and under undergraduate admissions for high school students, you want to go over to majors. So click on majors. This has a robust listing of the hundreds of majors that are available at the University of Illinois, and these majors are not only available at this school. Oftentimes, when students are working towards clarity on college majors, that's what I do in my Launch Career Clarity course is prepare students to make an informed decision on which college major which career and what that best fit college is students are overwhelmed with what evidence would a college be looking for and andy's team has done a fantastic job telling you what some of those things are so for instance once we're on this page we can check check any one of the majors that are listed so let's go over here to let's go let's go actuarial science okay when we click on actuarial science, we're going to learn a lot about this major, what college or division it belongs in, which will probably be similar or the same at many other universities. We're going to learn about the field, what the career options are. There for the University of Illinois, the path for success post-graduation lots of different things other program resources we've got cost of the program number amount of time to earn the degree so 3.8 years less than four years that's really good news but here's where i want to point you the review criteria for students who are considering this major so right here they tell you at the university of illinois that they would prefer that the student takes calculus in high school, so it would be a plus towards getting into this major if it is available at their high school. Now, if that's not offered at your high school, no big deal. That's not going to be counted against you. They also are going to look at how do you have understanding of what this field is and demonstrated interest in your major. You're going to, at least at the University of Illinois, write a, an essay just like many co other colleges will ask you to do saying why my major and as andy said on my podcast in episode 57 he's like we're only giving you 150 words to tell you tell us what have you done in your past to know what this major is and why it's a good fit for you be succinct and we're going to give you 150 words to tell us what you're going to do with that major while you're here and after graduation so they're looking for understanding High school students, teens, parents of teens, we need to do the work now while we're in high school to get clear on the future so we can make informed decisions and then provide those insights to the colleges who are making decisions about your admission future. So you can also compare different degrees and you can just go back and let's say you wanted to look at a different degree. Let's just, I mean, I'm gonna go, let's go kinesiology. Okay, now they're looking for strength and interest in science coursework. So did you take a lot of science courses? Again, do you demonstrate understanding of the major and what the career options are? So this is what are you going to do afterwards? 
And do your extracurriculars demonstrate a commitment to activities, employment and community involvement and or leadership experiences? So that list is a little bit different, right? This one, 3.9 years to degree. And here we have what the career options are. Let's go back and do something else. The most competitive major at the University of Illinois is computer science. So let's go take a look at this one. Now, while the university admits nearly 50% of the students who apply, only about 7% of students who apply to computer science get admitted at the University of Illinois. Here we say they're looking for strong math and science coursework and performance. Did you earn good grades in those classes? Calculus preferred and physics expected if it was available at your high school. Demonstrating through your extracurriculars and essays, strong teamwork and interpersonal communication skills, interest in improving society through engineering, and demonstrated understanding of and interest in engineering major selected. This is the one major currently in 2023 that at the University of Illinois, you can you have to apply to as a 12th grader to get admitted to this major. You cannot go onto the University of Illinois campus and pursue a different major and then later switch into this major. It is simply not available. This major is restricted. So I'm showing this not to tout the University of Illinois. It's an amazing institution, but there are approximately 3,500 four-year um, four -year universities and colleges in the United States. You've got a lot of great options out there. What I think that this tool is fantastic for is showing you really like what coursework, extracurriculars, things to be thinking about for any college as you're making decisions during high school on what courses to take, extracurriculars to pursue, and how you're going to demonstrate to the colleges that you know where you're headed. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want to listen to the full podcast, I've linked to it here. It is episode number 57 of College and Career Clarity. It also is a fantastic accompanying episode to episode, or this is also a great supplement to episode number 54 with Julie Spack, where we talked about high school course selection. How do you know what courses you should be taking year by year all the way through the senior year? So I'll link to that as well. Okay, hope this is helpful. Take care. Mm -hmm.